leader of the third party. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le Président, il y a plus d'un an, j'ai déposé une motion qui avait pour but de préciser les rôles et responsabilités des députés et d'élaborer un code de conduite à leur intention. Ma motion a été adoptée par l'Assemblée législative et a cheminé au comité permanent de la procédure, des privilèges et des autres fonctionnaires de l'Assemblée pour qu'ils élaborent une proposition à étudier. Ce comité ne s'est même pas réuni. Est-ce que le Premier ministre va finir par demander au président du comité de convoquer son comité pour qu'il se mette enfin au travail? Recognize the Minister of Natural Resources. To the, uh, to the member opposite, look, we thank you, for the, uh, thank you for the information here today. Thank you for bringing it to the floor of the House, and certainly we take all that information into consideration. We're a government that wants to be as transparent as possible and, and get as much information out in the public view as, as possible, Mr. Speaker. But at the same token, we bring all the, all the information that the leader of the third party has, has brought forward with his motion that he's put on the floor. And uh, at the same time, Mr. Speaker, as a government, we're working towards that, and all of our cabinet ministers, the government government, all of our, our uh, MLAs are working towards that code of conduct, Mr. Speaker. But some very good points that, that he's brought forward in the, in the past, Mr. Speaker, and we'll work towards that. As a government, this is something that we'll work towards. We, we cherish that very dearly. Leader of the third party. Well, Mr. Speaker, the motion was adopted, so it's in fact a resolution of this Legislative Assembly, and it's very clear why it should move forward quickly. In his report on ACON, the Conflict of Interest Commissioner recommended that this House consider adopting a code of conduct for members years ago. More recently, the member for Campbellton, Dalhousie, found himself embroiled in a conflict of interest controversy caused by the second job he had taken on as a lobbyist. Perhaps if we had a code of conduct that he could have consulted, this would not have happened. Can the Premier tell this House when the work will get underway on the code of conduct for MLAs? Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. To the uh, member opposite, look, we really appreciate bringing, bringing this to the floor of the House, but uh, on that information that, that he's bringing forward, we're, we're working on that. It's, the work is ongoing, and we hope to bring something forward so that we can have a discussion at some point in time, Mr. Speaker. But like I said, we want to be as transparent as possible, and we want to have the information out in the public domain, anything that the people are looking for. But, Mr. Speaker, we value the, the information that, that's been brought forward by the member of the third party, and we're definitely going to work towards that, and the work is ongoing at this point in time. Leader of the third party. Speaker, the resolution adopted by this House was to have a, stand, a standing committee put together a proposal for us to consider, and the standing committee has not met. On October 27th, in fact, the government issued a press release which listed a series of initiatives that it has taken, which it claims supported trans transparency and accountability, which it claimed to improve the functioning of the legislature. Among these initiatives listed was creating an all-party legislative committee to draft a code of conduct for members of the Legislative Assembly. However, this is something that has not happened. Despite the adoption of my motion by this House as a resolution to direct the Standing Committee on Procedures, Privileges and Legislative Officers to draft a proposed Code of Conduct for members assembled in this House to consider. The Government should not be claiming credit for carrying out work that is yet to take place. When will the Committee work begin on the MLA's Code of Conduct? The Honourable Minister. Natural resources. To the, uh, to the member opposite, again, we appreciate the information he's brought forward to the House. We appreciate the, that he's brought that to the floor in the past, Mr. Speaker, and we're, t we're taking that into consideration. The work is ongoing at this point in time. Uh, the work is, is, is ongoing. We'll present it, uh, we'll present it at, at some point in time, Mr. Speaker, but bottom line is we want to be as transparent as possible. We want to get the information out in the public domain. But to the member opposite, uh, we appreciate that bringing that to the floor.